friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I am glad you are here. I'm here today to talk to you about the pattern for pirates, patterns for pirates rag doll raglan, which I'm wearing and Troy took photos and videos, which I will put at the end. Um, let me show you, there are five views on here, but as per most patterns, you could really mix this up in a bunch of different ways. I made the tunic length with the long sleeves. Okay, so I guess that's all we need to know about that now. I'm gonna talk about it and what I did is I went on Curvy Sewing Collective. They do a bunch of pattern reviews and I love the format um, I find their format really useful, and so I copied down the things that they always do when they are reviewing patterns. I hope they don't mind, um, but um, it's a really good format, and I'm hoping that it'll keep me on track, because you guys know that I can tend to, you know, wander off and talk for eight million years. So, um, it is the Pattern for Pirates Ragdoll Raglan. Rag and Dolman was kind of their idea, Raglan and Dolman, because not only is this a Raglan, uh, raglan sleeve, which you can see, but it's also a Dolman sleeve. So my measurements, so you get an idea of what size I am. Uh, bust 43, waist 40, hips 50 to 51, my bra size is 40D. I'm about 5'5", five five, maybe not quite 5'5", five five, um, inches tall. Um, my body shape, <coughs> I like to call myself a menopausal hourglass. And the reason why I say that is because I used to be, even when I wasn't at my ideal weight, I used to be an hourglass, no matter what. And now with menopause, things change. I don't know about how other women are, but I have some, a package right here that I did not used to have. And my waist is bigger. And so I don't know what I am. I'm not an apple because apples have gorgeous legs. Um, so I'm calling myself a menopausal hourglass. And that's totally fine, whatever. Um, the pattern size that I cut out was a 1X. The 1X is 46 to 48 bust, 39 to 42 inch waist, and 49 to 51 inch hip. That's what I cut out. Um, I made no alterations. I did make a mistake. I got confused and thought I had cut out the extra large and I cut the neckband for the extra large. So I really had to do some stretching to get this neckband on, but it is fine. There's, um, I feel like it's a little bit full right here, but I think that's a different problem. Um, so no alterations. Uh, my fabric, this blue jersey is a nice heavyweight jersey. It's not sweatshirt weight, but it is like you were very highest quality, thickest t-shirt weight cotton jersey. Um, and then this is a Hobby Lobby stretch velvet. I was in Hobby Lobby today and they no longer have this um, antique rose, but they did have five or six other colors. Um, and I really, I enjoyed this and I bought more than this and I'm glad I did. I bought it also in black and gray when I bought this and I'm definitely going to use those colors as well. Um, the fit, I love the fit of this. Uh, one thing, the biggest thing to keep in mind here, I think, is that the neck on this pattern is very wide and um, some of the pattern testers and people who have sewn it up have said that. And I feel like I could wear it to school if I was paying attention and didn't let it start to sag down in the front. I was just sitting in my lazy boy and it had come down and it was low. I mean, so way too low for school. But, you know, sitting right here, I don't think this is too low for work. And the 
you know, I'm going to tell you about how I'm going to fix that anyway. Um, the changes I'm going to make, um, the primary change I will make for next time is that I'm going to cut out the one X. No, I'm going to cut out the extra large. I should not have cut out the one X. I was afraid it was going to be too small. That's my constant fear. It's a huge thing with me. I'm working on it. A year ago, I probably would have cut out the 3X and sewn it up. I kid you not. And it would have been, you know, much, much too big. And, you know, especially along the collar. Um, so I am, next time I cut it out, and I am going to make another one. I like it very much, and I want to make another one. I'm going to cut out the extra, extra large, not the 1X. Because the size range is fairly extensive. It's from extra, extra small to 3X. So the 3X is 52 to 54 bust, um, 47 to 50 waist, and 55 to 58 hip. And the extra, extra small is 30 to 31 bust, 23.5 inch waist. That's like middle school um, size and hip 33 to 34 and a half. So, um, all right. So yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to cut out an extra, extra large next time. I love this top. It has a curved bottom. The back is a little bit longer than the front, which I love. Um, I feel like it's cute. I went out with my girlfriends, I've had a busy day, um, went in the morning out to coffee and had a two hour baby shower plan session for one of our girlfriends. From there, we went to Hobby Lobby and shopped for the baby shower and for ourselves. Um, and from there, we went to a deli and had lunch. And from there, two of us went home and then my other girlfriend and I went she needed to go pick up some glasses, so we went and did that. And after that, we went to Tuesday morning. And uh, so I've had a great day. I felt really cute in this. I'm wearing it with burgundy skinnies, and I wore my gray um, Converse. Now, if I had been going to work, I have two shoe options that would be adorable with this. I have a pair of velvet um, about this color pointy toed flats, the, I think they're called d'Orsay, the kind with just the back and then nothing and then the front. I have a pair of those and I also have a pair of pink leather, um, blush pink leather brogues, wingtips, which I think would be super cute with it. So I'm really pleased with this. I am definitely going to make more. Um, we do not have any crushed velvet in the store, but we do have um, five different colors of Ponty. We have from Robert Kaufman. We have two different colors of t-shirt weight fabric from Robert Kaufman and we have two knits from um, art gallery fabrics that would all be beautiful for this. And so that's all I have for you today. I hope you're having a great day. It's so beautiful here in Colorado today. Um, I hope it's pretty where you are and I will check with you next time. Take care. Some pretty shiny sleeves you have there, young lady. Crushed velvet, stretch velvet sleeves. How do they feel? Soft.